guys, what's up? It's me, Hillary, and for today's video, I will be showing you guys my room playlist. I know I haven't made a video since December, so please go easy on me if it's a little weird and like I'm still like a little bit awkward. I only have the time. It's a snow day today, so I was able to get off from school. And the perfect lighting. I know how weird that sounds, but like every time I try to create a video, it's either too dark, the lighting's weird, or just something like in between because there's some like... I always want to make sure I have a video that's good enough quality for you guys because what's the point of putting up a shitty video? So that's from that point, I was kind of going over old footage that I was maybe going to re-upload or upload to my channel, but I figured why would I do that because there's no point. I feel like I've changed so much, like me just in like have my long hair back for a while now. I learned properly how to do my makeup and just like everything else in between from that. It's so different now. It's like a new year, new me. I hate that saying, but like it's kind of true. And 2016 for me was just a complete shitty year. And 2017 isn't going so bad right now, but it's still kind of like still just beginning of the year. So hopefully it'll all just get better. But um, anyway, I just want to really move on to this playlist and show it to you guys because I add on to this playlist pretty frequently and um, there's definitely a lot of different songs on here so I'm gonna try to skim through them as fast as possible and if you guys want to listen to my playlist at all I will link my Spotify down below in the description and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into the video the first song I have on this playlist is stay awake dreams only last for a night by all-time low of all time low so much. I really wish they would go on tour again because I miss seeing them live. They're so amazing. <laughs> Second song I have is First Date by Blink-182. The third song is Alone Together by Fall Out Boy. And I love, you guys know my love for Fall Out Boy. I have a lot of their records, I have a lot of their albums. I'm very happy that um, Under the Quirk Tree actually released on vinyl again, so it's not like crazy, crazy expensive the collectors were before it was reprinted. So I'm really glad and I'm excited to get that one. There's gonna be way too many songs for me to remember the numbers, so I'm just gonna keep on going. The next song I have is Gold by Sleeping With Sirens. I believe they're releasing an album this year and I'm really, really excited for that. Uh, the next song is Castle by Halsey. The next song is actually Vicious Love featuring Haley Williams by Newfound Glory. If you guys haven't listened to the song yet, it's very, very catchy. And Haley's married to the lead singer of Newfound Glory, so it's really, really cute. And um, I think the song is great too. The next song is All the Small Things by Blink-182. Is Fly Away by Five Seconds of Summer. Paramore, Ain't It Fun. Hallelujah by Panic at the Disco. You guys know I have to add them in here. Panic, I, I listen to them so much and recently, like, there's times where, like, I don't listen to them at all and then I'll just listen to all their music at once. And I do the same thing with All Time Low and I do the same thing with Pierce the Veil and I've been listening to a lot, a lot of Pierce the Veil lately. I just, I forget how much I love them and then I go listen to them and I'm like, oh my god, I love them so much. I do want to see um, Panic at the Disco in concert. The next song I have on here is Ride by 21 Pilots. So this was when it was on the radio a lot and I obviously knew about the song a little bit. I don't know, I still thought Ride was pretty catchy and it's a great song either way. The song after that is Something's Gotta Give by All Time Low. My babies. <laughs> the next song is Uma Thurman by Fall Out Boy. And it's actually really funny why I added this song onto my playlist is because whenever I play my um, playlist in the car, I kind of know what kind of songs my mom likes. And she heard the song on the radio and she goes, who sings this? And I'm like, oh, like this is Fall Out Boy. So I added it to my playlist so whenever we're in the car, we can listen to it if it comes up on shuffle. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool that she liked it. The next song is Love Me by the 1975. Don't hate me, but I still haven't listened to I Like It When You Sleep. I still haven't listened to it much yet, but I've listened to a few songs, but I really, really need to listen to it. Following that is, is Chocolate by the 1975. After that is the song uh, Dreaming Out Loud by We Are The In Crowd. They're a great band too, but they don't make a lot more music nowadays. I love Taylor, I love her style, she's just such a great person and um, the band is really good too. I really wish they would put out some more music. The next song is Pity Party by Melanie Martinez. My girl. The next song is Roman Holiday by Halsey. The next song is She's Kinda Hot by Five Seconds of Summer. Okay, okay, I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of people asking me why do you have so much 
five seconds of summer on your playlist and honestly i can't help the fact that their songs are very very catchy like every time they release a new song it is so catchy it is so good and honestly i love michael clifford he is just gorgeous he's beautiful everything about them i have seen them live i think a few times but they're i do like their music i don't think they are bad i think that they great put on Great performances. They don't really have the best opening acts, but I really do like Five Seconds of Summer. I have them in there. You know, you guys gotta give these bands a chance because they're actually really good. And um, I think for their Sounds Good Feels Good album, their lyrics have definitely developed from their self-titled one. They're definitely more deep. They're more kind of gives a more actual writing, you know. I feel like they've had a lot of lessons writing with like All Time Low and like a bunch of other different bands where they've just developed so well lyrically and um, that's what I like about them that they've changed a lot but they still have that like pop rock, not really rock, but pop sound but it's not at the same time. They're kind of a mix of genres. Uh, the song after that is The Run and Go by 21 Pilots. No need to further explain. I love Tyler and Josh so much with all of my heart. The next song is Beverly Hills by Weezer, and I feel like I listened to this song at work and I just kept on listening to it, and I'm like, I want to really, really listen to it. So um, I added it onto this playlist, and yeah. This song is Me, Myself, and I. Uh, like I said, this song was on the radio a lot, it was pretty catchy, so why not? And I like, I'm starting to actually really like G-Eazy, so. The song after that is Thanks for the Memories by Fall Out Boy. After that is Roses by the Chainsmokers. I overplayed the song. I've learned that lesson the hard way. It's still on here though. I still like to listen to it um, sometimes. The song after that is Don't Threaten Me With A Good Time by Panic At The Disco. Yes, love that song. The song after that is Bored To Death by Blink-182 off the California album. The song after that is One Dance by Drake. I used to listen to him a lot when I was younger. I saw him at concert not too long ago, right before or right after, like Sleeping With Sirens. I'm not sure. Somewhere around in the summertime, and I love Drake. Like, he's just been someone I've been listening to for years, and I feel like I can't get sick of him. It's, I know it's a totally different genre from what I'm used to, but it kind of brings me back to, like, me being younger, and he's just someone I can always stand by listening to, because, I don't know, I think he has great songs, even though a lot of people don't agree with, like, rap and, like, all that shit, but, like, I feel like Drake puts on a different kind of rap, and he has his own specific songs and music and all that stuff so yeah Coming after that is teenagers by my chemical romance yes yes i jam out to that song all the time no matter how many times i've overplayed it <laughs> the song after that is dear maria count me in by all time low so that is jet black heart by five seconds of summer followed by tear in my heart by 21 pilots after that like this said, this song be on the radio, and it was Send My Love to Your New Lover by Adele. I really, really still like that song. After that is Girls Talk Boys from the movie Ghostbusters. I love, love that song. If you guys haven't listened to it, please check out this 5 Seconds of Summer song. It is so fun, so dancey. You can just literally blurt out all the lyrics. It's like, I love this song so much. It makes me really, really happy. I don't know what it is, but it's a really good song. I saw these guys at Warped Tour with Set It Off and I have um, Forever Stuck In My Youth in my playlist and it's a really good song. After that is Justin Bieber, The Feeling, and that's featuring Halsey, which I really like as well. Following that is Like I Would by Zayn, Wild by Troy Sivan, Closer by The Chainsmokers featuring Halsey. That song is very overplayed, but I still do like it. I don't know what it is, I can still listen to it. Even though it's been on the radio a hundred thousand million times, I just, I don't know what it is, I can't get sick of it. I think I'm actually really starting to like the Chainsmokers as well. After that, I have Misery Business by Paramore, Never Be Like You um, by Flume featuring Kai. I'm not sure if I said that right, I'm very sorry if I did, but it's a very, very good song. I love it so, so much. After that is I Don't Wanna Be In Love, Dance Floor Anthem by Good Charlotte. I felt like the song had to be on here, like it was a necessary song, like this song brings me back. That, um, this song has been stuck in my head ever since I saw Suicide Squad, so I added Without Me by Eminem on my playlist and I don't regret it. After that is Needed Me by Rihanna, and I feel like Rihanna is like the same thing with Drake. I love listening to her, I love listening to her older music, her newer music. There is just something like I can't let go and they're just an incredible... Both of them, Drake and Rihanna, are incredible artists. After that, I have Sucker for Pain. 
Um, that's from the Suicide Squad album with Wiz Khalifa, Madden Dragons, X Ambassadors, all those guys in there. That I have Andy Black, We Don't Have to Dance. I f love this song. I barely ever listen to Black Veil Brides or Andy Black, but I think I might go listen to his new album because this song I love so much. And this song I actually got from work. I always heard it playing in the store that I had This Is What We Came For by Calvin Harris featuring Rihanna. I really like that song as well. After that I have Planetary Go by My Chemical Romance. After that is this fun upbeat song called Midnight City by M883. I'm not sure how you say it. I'm sorry if you guys know who that is. After that is Too Good by Drake. Side to Side by Rihanna featuring Nicki Minaj. This song is like a guilty pleasure song. I love it so much. I don't know why. That is Gangsta by Kalani from also the Suicide Squad album. After that is Kiss It Better by Rihanna. That is You Don't Own Me by Grace featuring g Easy from the Suicide Squad album again. After that is Cool Girl by Tuvlo. And my best friend loves Tuvlo. So I might try to want to go see her in concert because I like her music too. She's actually kind of growing on me and I think Cool Girl's a really, really fun song. After that is Cake by Melanie Martinez. Following is Jetpack Blues by Fall Out Boy. And then the newest or new Ed Sheeran song, Castle on the Hill, which I love. I absolutely love the music video for it too. I love the message behind it. I love everything about it. I just... I really love Ed Sheeran. After that is Get On Your Knees by Nicki Minaj featuring Ariana Grande. I like that song too. It's also a guilty pleasure song. After that is Energy by Drake. After that is Fake Love by Drake. And then Forbes by Borg featuring G-Eazy. So yeah, as you guys can tell, there's definitely a lot of different genres and you know, everything on my playlist, which I kind of like to keep. I do like to mix it up a little bit and listen to a lot of different things. Obviously, I have separate playlists for my bands like A Mice and Men, All Time Low, Fall Out Boy, Sleeping With Sirens, um, Pierce the Veil, everyone in general. I listen to Spotify the most, so if you guys want to follow me on there, um, I'll link it down below. And if you guys just want to check out the playlist, I'll leave the link for the playlist. But also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comment section down below some of your favorite songs so I can look them up and maybe add them to my playlist. I think that would actually be kind of cool because I'm always interested in learning or um, listening to new songs and I think this is a great way to put it so at least you guys can listen to a few of them. Let me know what you think and um, yeah I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye!